often during development, you'll need to create some type of construct that shows you what different types you have to work with. And for example, we might want to have something with different account types. Maybe we have various different users who have account types and they look something like this. So we have one that's a, a bronze account type. We have a silver account type. There's a gold and there's a platinum. Uh, very often these, you'll see these, you know, for example, with credit cards or different types of gym memberships or something like that. And if you're modeling something like this, you'll want to create a user-defined type, and that's typically done with an enum. And to define an enum, you will call, use the keywords enum class, and then, for example, I'm going to call this one account type. And then, by default, inside of enums, you give the names of the types, which is your user-defined type, you uppercase them. So we'll say bronze, and then they're separated by commas. So silver, gold, platinum. And then if I want to use the account types, which we'll get rid of this now, I can just say account type dot gold. And now I have an instance of gold, so I can start representing something like that. So if I were to just to print line this, and these are very useful inside of various different if statements and conditional clauses and so forth. So we can see gold there. Now, this is something in Kotlin about anytime you're interacting with an application, a lot of times you'll be talking to a API and perhaps you get a value down uh, that's gold like that from an API. And so you need to create an account type off of that. And to do that, you can use the account type dot value of, and then perhaps you would say, so let's say um, we had a string that was given to us from an input somewhere, maybe an API, uh, and we'll call this, you know, account type from API, and then we'll just call it gold. And if we want to turn this gold, this gold right here into an actual account type, then we'll say account type, we'll see value of, and we'll say account type from API. Now, if we run this, we're going to run this here, and we'll see that, well, that didn't work. There's no enum constant by the name of account type dot gold, but we do see one here. So what's going on here? Well, the reason is, is because this is an uppercase value. So we can just say here uh, to uppercase. And if we run this again, we'll see that it runs and compiles just fine. That gives us our account type. So now we can actually say print line and we'll actually say account type and it'll say gold as we see here. So now we actually have an instance of gold, which is nice. So we can actually say account type. Does this actually equal an account type of gold? So this should return true, which we'll get run and say it's true. So now we can actually enter work with these different types of enums. Now, a lot of times this is very useful uh, inside of conditionals and different types of things like that. So you might have your user class, which if we go back over here to our typical user class that we have, we might have a user that's associated with account type. So we might have a, a var account type, and that would be you know, an account type of whatever. And we might want to default it to account type dot bronze. Maybe that's what it defaults to. Um, or instead of doing it here, we could actually just do it, put this all up inside of the constructor and have it use a default value. So account type, and we don't need that. We say account type equals, uh, we do need that, excuse me. Account type equals the bronze. And then if we decide to overwrite it, you know, for example, we could say uh, val user equals user. And then we want to say Don Felker. And then I don't have to provide an account type, but if I would, if I'd like to, I could say, well, this he's actually going to be a platinum account for whatever reason. He's you know, a good customer or something like that. And now I can actually start working with this. And then in my application, like I say, user dot account type user dot account type, I can then do some different types of things with conditionals inside of that and then start working with it. And it gives us some user defined types that are basically strongly typed. We're not working with strings, doing string comparisons, and we can work with them accordingly. That's how you can create and work with very basic enums and define them in Kotlin.